is going on guys to off here welcome back to some more jurassic world last time we left off was the 50th episode special so if you guys haven't seen that what are you doing here go to the last episode check it out it's about an hour long and uh, we got a pretty good amount of stuff done as well as we did a dino battle with dr dino himself now i didn't notice why are those why are those vines coming out i never noticed is that is that actually as close as it looks like it is I've never seen it that close. I'd always thought it was like way farther away. <laughs> Anyways, what I have planned for this episode is for us to get some more herbivores. Because last episode we did do a little bit of an herbivore expansion, and I've already cultivated a pretty good amount of herbivores. So uh, we have some parasaurolophuses, Parasaurolophus parasaurolophi, if you will. We have a uh, one, two. Uh, looks like we just have two. And then, of course, we have two mammoth syringes, uh, one leptictibium, and uh, like three or four gallimuses. Got three of them. Uh, and then one triceratops, two steak sources, uh, yeah, one ankylosaurus, and, uh, I think that covers it all. And one hypsilophodon. So that's a pretty good amount of herbivores we should get started. Uh, I don't want to put them here in this nursery, necessarily. Uh, I do want to get them started over there, because if you guys remember last episode, uh, like, the herbivore area was like this, right? It was like this, and then last episode we expanded it to this gigantic area, so... Maybe I'll put a, put a nursery somewhere in this general area, maybe? Hmm, or maybe even spread them out, like maybe put three or four of them right there, three or four of them right there, three or four of them right there? Maybe? That seems like a pretty good idea. Ooh, and we do need to wall off the caves and stuff, just so they don't fall inside there, because they're going to be baby dinosaurs. So they're going to be small enough to fit inside of uh, small crevices and get stuck and stuff like that. So we don't want anything like that to happen. So we have two stacks of cobblestone walls that we could use to just wall off any danger areas we want to make them stay out of. So let's just go over here and let's see. Because, uh, yeah, about right here, this is where the river was. This is where it was cut off. So in this general corner right here is a pretty good spot for us to lay down like two or three dinosaurs i don't know maybe even spread them out a little bit uh we have a sheep right here i think we may be able to use this sheep to inject like a mammoth or something right let's see oh look at that we can inseminate the sheep with a mammoth what <laughs> all right so now we have a mammoth growing inside of that sheep what about a gallimimus and a, a hypsilophodon and a, a parasaurolophus there you go three dinosaurs let's just lay them down right real quick actually we need to stay by this sheep just in case that mammoth does uh does hatch so let's lay down these eggs there we go and is that it yeah i think that's it and i guess we'll just chill out here for a little while sheep nope nope get back here what are you doing whoa get back here you feel that mammoth growing inside of you get back over there i need you to be over there so that that mammoth will be tame to me once he hatches Okay, whatever. Whatever, just go over there then. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm going to hang out next to these eggs until they're hatched, so they'll be nice and tame to me, and I'll see you guys here in a second. Hey, look this, they're already laying down. Hey, there we go. So we have the the, the Gallimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimim
Dig a little bit of dirt. I guess we can get rid of this dirt right here. It's kind of sticking up above the ground anyway, so we might as well get rid of it. Get some good aesthetics going on here. Make it look a little bit better. And there we go. All right, so we have a little bit of dirt that we can use. And we cleaned up this area just a little tadpole bit. So let's just uh, try and fill this in as much as possible. We could just lay down a wall like right here. But I guess if we want to make it look good, we're going to have to do something along the lines of this, right? Just to kind of make it look not so disgusting looking. There you go. Something like that. It's not too horrible, right? Yeah, we don't have that much dirt to work with either, so... Eh... Nah, this should get the job done. Shouldn't have any dinosaurs getting stuck inside of there now. <laughs> so let's just get rid of this all patched up. There you go. We need to patch up these small little holes like so, and I think we're good. Alright, so that's nice and patched up. It could look a million times better. But uh, that's just what it's going to look like for now. Now, we do have this cobblestone wall still, so I think there's a cave. Yep, there's a cave, like, right there that we should try and patch up. At least put up a wall. And there's a spooky skeleton in there. He's going to try and touch our butts. We're getting out of there. Whoa. Can that skeleton get out of there? I don't know if he can, because we have that wall up. Ooh, because I don't, I don't want that sh skeleton to shoot me or else. Or else I'm probably going to get a giant lag spike from all the dinosaurs trying to save me. <laughs> Alright, well let's just stay away from there for now. I don't think there's many, if any, problematic areas left. Hmm. If anything, this river right here, it doesn't look like you have flowing water, so we don't have an, another beefy problem because of that, fortunately. And yeah, I don't see any other caves or anything, so I think everything is nice and good right now when it comes to dinosaur safety. Now we are on the other side of the map, so we should lay down a couple more dinosaurs. Hey, how's it going villagers? You guys enjoying your stay here at the Jurassic Park? I hope you are, because we are going to be laying down some more dinosaurs right in front of you. So what about a, what about a Stegosaurus, you know, another Gallimimimus, and a Triceratops, and an Ankylosaurus. You know, what about, an, do we have any mammals nearby that we can inject with some stuff? Can we inject a villager? Let's, <laughs> let's no, no, that's not gonna work. Uh, that's uh, that's a pretty bad trade. <laughs> we could be a lot better than that, there, villager. Oh, what is with our mini map? What is uh, what is that mini map? I know there's another I mini. Mean, how do how did I just activate that? There's a really giant mini map on the map right now. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, is there any mammals around here that I can inject with this this liptictium thing? I'm not seeing any sheep, no cows. There's a sheep over there though. We could uh, we could inject them over here by the meteorites. Ah, uh, yeah. We do have some dinosaurs left over that we could lay down over there by the villagers later, though. But this is going to cover... Yeah, this is going to cover this corner of the dinosaur expansion, herbivore expansion. So let's just inject this guy with the Liptiptium. And let's just lay down the Gallimimus, the Stegosaurus, Triceratops, and the Ankylosaurus. So let's just sit here, chill out, and wait for these guys to hatch. Oh, you better not go anywhere, sheep. I'm going to need you to stay here so I don't have to tame that Liptiptium thing. Oh, where's my bait? Oh, there you go. Alright. Well, I'm just going to chill out here for a little bit. God, get away, dodge you. What are you doing? You're freaking out. You feel that little lip tip dm thing growing inside of you? I bet it is. I bet that's the reason why it's freaking out, because no other sheep does that. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to chill out right here, and I'll see you guys here in a bit once these guys are so nice and hatched. Oh, man, oh, man, things are hatched right now. Where's that lip tip dm I, I just saw him a split second ago. Where's he at? I just saw him. I saw him. Where's he at? Is he over here? I hear him. I don't see him. I just saw him hippity hop all around. Now he's really tiny, so he could have squeezed through anywhere. I don't know where he's at, but there we go. We have another gallon of my Mimimus, and another Ankylosaurus, another Triceratops, and of course the Stegosaurus. So we should have like three or four of each of these dinosaurs by now, so that's pretty good. Uh, we're getting a pretty good spread. Uh, I could have gotten another Brachiosaurus, but I have this thing installed called like Opus or whatever that like tracks whatever's giving you disgusting lag and stuff and nine times out of ten the disgusting lag comes from the two brachiosauruses that we have so i'm just going to try and uh, avoid any disgusting lag that might happen in the future but just sticking to having only two brachiosauruses instead of getting another one because they are pretty big so maybe that contributes a lot to that disgusting lag that happens anyways i don't know where this lip tip dm thing is I guess maybe I could enable it on the minimap and look for him, but, uh, oh, nope, nope, that's the kill down the Mime and Mimus thing. Where is he at? Yeah, I do not see him. Hmm, I hope he was tangent. Let's check the chat. Uh, Ankylosaurus, Stegosaurus, uh, does it say Liptictium thing? A uh, Mammoth. Nope, nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, sour, sour. God, I wanted that guy to be tamed to me. Uh, well, anyways, ooh, I don't even know if he can ride those little guys. Hmm, well, if you can't run- Oh, is that him? <gasps> oh, that's probably him, right? Let's get the baked potato out. Oh, do you want this? Do you want to be tamed? Oh, no, he's taking damage. Oh, oh, hey, hey, oh, hey, hey. 
Oh, man, he eats a lot of baked potatoes. Gee. <laughs> All right, there you go. Oh, whoa, he just... He, he just disappeared into the sand. What? <laughs> what? Oh, there he is. Whoa, what? What's happening to him? Why is he, like, sinking into the sand? Hashtag sinking into the sand. Well, anyways, he's, like, glitched out. <laughs> I don't know what to go with that little lip tip thing now. But we do have a couple more dinosaurs we can lay down. I think one of them is another, yeah, another mammoth. But, unfortunately, we don't have another sheep around here, unfortunately. So, we have another Parasaurolophus. And another Stegosaurus. And another Gallimimimus minus thing. Now, I think we tested it a while ago that we can't inject a mammoth with another mammoth DNA. But, let's just triple. Ooh! Did that baby mammoth come over here and hang out with these other mammoths? Are you the one that we just hatched, like, ten minutes ago, maybe? <gasps> oh, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool little AI. Anyways, is this Manny? Yep, yep, yep. Yep, uh, not sitting anymore. See, uh, I think I might have gotten some comments recently saying that I should inject Manny with another mammoth. Oh, is this lip tip I have right here? No, it's a mammoth. All right. Well, there you go. You can't do it, unfortunately. Uh, that would have saved us so much time, but I can't find another sheep in this general area. I don't want to I don't want to have another one over there by those meteors. I want to have one over here in this, like, nasty-looking sandy area. Oh, there's... Yeah, yeah, here we go. Here's a sheep right here. There you go. Get inseminated, you little sheep. All right, let's lay down another Parasaurolophus and another Stegosaurus and a Gallimimimimimus. And let's just chill out here and let these guys be tamed to us. Hopefully that sheep... That sheep shouldn't move because he's on the... <laughs> he's literally on the cliff right now, so... Hopefully, if I'm, like, right here in the middle of them, they'll all be tame to me. So, hopefully, it's either all or nothing right here. So, I'm just going to chill out right here, and hopefully, everyone's going to be tame to me. Hey, look at this. We have the mammoth tamed. We have a mammoth tamed. Are these guys going to be... Hey, there we go. Look at that. And another stegosaurus. And another... Hey, look at that. Everyone's tame to me. So, uh, we were definitely in the sweet spot right there. All right. So, where's this? Oh, there's the mammoth right there. Should we try and... I don't want to push them off, though. That's a... That's gotta be it. Let's t let's push off the sheep. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> that's too big of a drop. Maybe if we just break the blocks below him. Yeah, there you go. He should be able to survive two blocks, no problem. Yeah, there you go. All right, so you can just not sit anymore, you little mammoth. You want to go hang out with the other mammoths over there, like the other baby mammoth? Oh, looks like he is. I want to follow him. Is he actually going to the other mammoth? It looks like he he's literally climbing upstairs right now. <laughs> God, this mammoth is so smart. Is he like a salmon or something going back to his parents or so? I don't know. Oh, it definitely looks like he's going back to the mammoth area. Look at those Gallimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimim
And by the way, I have world edit installed, so I can just do slash this wand. I'm not going to do this to like spawn in stuff right now, but I want to use it as a measuring tool because I couldn't find any measuring mods out there. And uh, whenever I like count blocks and stuff, sometimes I get really confused and miscount. So if we look at the width of this right now, we can measure it with world edit right now. And I'm not actually going to like you know, cheat with it. So it's 55 wide right now. I think, I think I got the right blocks. 55 wide. If we go out to another 55, essentially doubling it. So which block is it? It's this one right there. So it's uh, one, two, three, three blocks above us right now. And we're at 67. So we need to go to 67, three blocks. So that's about 70, right? About 70 is where we uh, measured it ish. So let's, let's get off this block right here. So if we do this, 86. Okay, so we need to go up to 110, which is going to be somewhere over here, and we need to dig down like a couple of blocks, right? Uh, 208, and then we need to go down one more block. Whoops, that's too many blocks. Whoops. <laughs> Let's get the red sand. And see, there's no way I would have measured all the way up to 55 over here on my own, so let's do this. Uh, did I did I just do it right? Oh, wait. Uh, Right-click it again. 104. Okay, so we need to go like a couple more blocks over here. Right, right here. 110, nope, nope, this one right here, and 110, all right, so this is 55 doubled, so right here is where the wall would be once we expand it all the way over here, and I think they went up all the way up to like 73 or something, so we're at 73 right now, uh, I don't know, something like that, we're gonna have to measure it out here in a bit, but this is where it's going to come out to, where are we at on the minimap, this is a pretty good distance, I like this, hmm, and if we cut down these trees, yeah, there you go, cut down the trees, make the land a little bit more leveled out, we can probably terraform a little bit of land, f like, that way, north of the here, and uh, use a lot of the red sand and hardened sand and all that stuff to level out the area a little bit more, and uh, make it a lot less, uh, you know, caved in like this, because I think this used to be a river, it looks like a river or something like that, but for right now, it's really hard terrain for dinosaurs and stuff, so... Especially the T-Rexes with how gigantic they are, jeez. Anyways, look at this, we have to, we're gonna have to connect that over there to this right here. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to do it like a hollow thing, like I've been doing over there, where it's like, not completely filled in on the inside, but it's like, only filled in on the top. So I'm probably gonna do that, and uh, probably, yeah, I'm probably extend it over here as well, and maybe even, uh, yeah, I might cut down this. Yeah, I might cut down this area, level this area down, like two or three blocks, so it's level with that just so we can use those blocks to then make a bridge over here and make this area nice and flat. That seems like a pretty good, pretty good plan. All right, God, I've got to use some more baked potatoes. Let's go back over here to where the T-Rex would go. Let's see, where does this go? Is it like, it's like two blocks down, right? Yeah, it's like right here. It's level like right here. So if we go over here, let's see what this would look like. Uh, this is, is this level? I don't know, I think, yeah, I think it's one block above where it goes so this would be essentially where it is right now this would be ground level right here and yeah that's a lot of blocks yeah especially yeah that's going to be a ton hmm well that's probably going to be what i'm going to work on between this episode and next episode it might not be done completely because i'm going to have to break all these blocks and then uh, of course terraform this next to this here and then maybe the episode after that we're going to have a brand new t-rex expansion and uh, yeah that's going to be pretty cool and uh, speaking of expansions Let's check what the Tyrosaurus expansion would look like. So let's just measure this with the world edit too. And that's, no, oh, that's 7,000 blocks, hold on. Let's see, how wide is this thing? 21 blocks wide, so we'll, we want to put another 21 blocks here, right? Or at least 20, because this one's going to be the center block. So, uh, let's see. Let's, let's, let's just measure it like this. Oh, whoops, that falls. Whoops. Do I have any blocks that don't fall? Yeah, I have some dirt. All right. Uh, let's put it like right here. So let's go 20 blocks this way. Do, 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 do. 10, 12, 13, 14, 32, whoa, 17, 18, 19, 20, is this 20 right here? Let's check, 21, okay, so right here, this is where the wall is going to go for the Tyasaurus expansion, and then uh, we want to have a five wide walkway, so one, two, three, four, and five, this is where the walkway is going to go, and then we're going to have some coelacanths right there, and judging by that T-Rex expansion thing that I, you can kind of see a little line there to the bottom left. Yeah, it looks like it fit in just fine with a coelacanth expansion. Yeah, it'd look almost level with them, so that'll be a pretty cool little project we have coming up. Uh, I do have to get a bunch of glass. I do plan on getting like the digital miner to 
like go to a desert and just mine out a bunch of sand and just get that doing its job and uh, just get a bunch of glass you know because i don't know if i want to use this glass here or use the clear glass that we used at the hotel leave a comment down below should we use that glass or maybe we should use the blue glass or uh, use the clear glass that we used at the hotel leave a comment down below which one you guys would rather see i personally think the blue glass is best some, some of you guys really like the clear glass that only had the border and didn't have the shrieks and uh the shrieks is mainly the main part of this other glass over here that's like turning me off from it so uh yeah leave a comment down below i want to let you guys, i want to know what you guys think about it but uh it's going to come out to here the tyosaur expansion and we're going to have four more tyosaur oh speaking of tyosauruses where's skyrim horse at well i don't want him to run away just yet let's go check up on our sky or uh <laughs> i don't know tyosauruses and see what they're up to i want to see how big they're getting if they're even getting big yeah, that, oh, they're getting pretty big. Look at that guy. He's still stuck down there, though. <laughs> all right, let's go over here. That guy's about to say, what? How the, they all hatch at, like, the same time. How's this one, like, double the size of this one? What? Okay, let's check him on this one. Yeah, that one's tiny, too. Hmm. Hmm, and then, is this one, uh, is this one, like, dead? <laughs> I don't see him. Is he, like, hiding in the, in the center there where it's all dark and I can't see him? I'm not seeing him in there. Is he even in there? Oh wait, yeah, there he is right there. Yeah, he's hiding in that dark area. I couldn't even see him. But uh, yeah, that's what our tire horses are up to right now. And we're going to have even more of them over here. Probably like three or four episodes from now. So that's going to be pretty cool. Anyways, we need to do some actual like work here. Because we've just been planning the last like 10 minutes or so. And uh, we need to actually get some good work done now. We did. I did get some comments saying that I should put like a path going from here. And like how I have these paths right here with all this gravel. I should put a path going from this front area to the hotel and maybe from this front area going out to like here-ish or something like that so that's going to be a pretty cool little project it may look a little bit better because these paths do look a lot better than just straight up grass and you know uh, if we do have a path right here it's going to incentivize the villagers hey you know there's a, there's a hotel like right there why don't you go and uh, check in give us some of those emerald data <laughs> so let's go see how many gravel things that we have we should have a pretty yeah we have a pretty good amount of them. that should be way more than enough and let's just dig out a pretty good path. It shouldn't be too hard, especially with our j delicious, delicious obsidian packs, which just breaks blocks like no problem. Look at this. No problem whatsoever. Oh, whoops. <laughs> no problem whatsoever. Look at this. This path is pretty much done right now. And uh, this path is done. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. What do you know? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just going to have to clean it up a little bit just to make it look a lot better than this. But uh, this is the general gist of it right now. It looks pretty good, I'd say. Hmm, yeah, I want to level it out. Because I don't want to have any random blocks here. So there we go. That's what it looked like. I kind of like it whenever it like weaves back and forth like that. Kind of gives it that, uh, that old style look. So let's, uh, let's place down this gravel here. See how it looks. Let's wind it to the left a few blocks. There we go. I have some dirt in my inventory. I need to fix that garbage. <laughs> Maybe get rid of that. Yeah. yeah, something like this. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's fix this as well. And then we're going to wind it to the right a little bit right here. Yeah, there we go. And maybe even wind it to the right one more block. We do have the excavator. We just break. Ooh, whoops. Let's uh, let's not let that leak all over the place. <laughs> there we go. All right. And then we can wind it to the left a little bit more. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. Wind it to the left a little bit more. Fill this in. I kind of like it. God, not the cobblestone blocks. I kind of like it whenever it winds like that. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So let's uh, let's let it wind to the left. See how it look. Two, three. There we go. And we can make it wind all the way over to that other path over there. And it looked pretty good. And then we can have this path. Uh, this path should definitely be a lot straighter. And this one uh, shouldn't just stray off to the right like that. So this one's going to look like this. And then it's probably. Hmm. What would it look like? God, it's. This pack will just break stuff so fast. Man, this is, a, this is a leftover little tunnel thing that from whenever we had those windmills over here, by the way. If you guys remember that, man, that was a long time ago. All right, let's see. It was all the way out to here-ish. And then we need to place this block here. And three blocks, and then three. And yeah, I kind of like this path. Yeah, look at this, where it like winds like that. It's pretty good. And we can make it uh, come out to about here-ish. And I should probably get rid of this, by the way. <laughs> I'm only going to use this as, a, like, a measuring tool. Especially for, like, long, like, really long stuff. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to count over there all the way up to, like, 55 and not get messed up in the middle. So let's, uh, let's get, fill all this. Oh, whoops. I don't need to fill this in right here. And maybe we can add, like, 
cobblestone it is too, you like make it look more varied so it doesn't look like can exclusively gravel, you know? That'd probably make it look a billion times better. Hmm. Well, anyways, uh, let's see. I need to add one, two. Yeah, here we go. This is going to be where it connects right here. Yep, there you go. That looks pretty good. Let's just fill in all the dirt, let all the grass just respread to all that dirt. And just fill in the rest of the gravel here on this path. And... How's that look? I like that. I really do. Hmm. I really like- How did this guy escape again? How, how do you keep escaping? You are not going to get out of your job. You need to go back inside of the park. You're going to get your job nice and finished. God, I wish I had a lead right now. Because this guy, oh, you are, you're going right back in there. Do not even think about leaving this job. Because you, oh, you have a duty to work. Come on, this is this place is not so secure when you're just up and leaving in the middle of it. Come on, go and get him back inside the park. What is he doing? What is he doing? Man, he doesn't even have to secure. Oh, he's probably mad because he doesn't have an official security name tag. Well, you know what? I guess I'll get that fixed. Let's just go inside there. We have 19 levels. We can easily go get that fixed. I'll get you your little special snowflake special security name tag. So let's get a six, a six name tags. Man, that's a lot. <laughs> so let's just a security. Oh, wow, that's not how you spell it. Whoops. <laughs> All right, there he is. All right, let's just name him real quick. There you go. You happy? Man, I, okay, for a second right there, I thought I misspelled it, but I, I don't think I did. It kind of looks weird. Now I really do think I misspelled it. <laughs> it really looks weird. It doesn't look like I spelled it right, but it, I think it is. <laughs> all right, anyways, this path right here looks pretty good. Not bad at all. Ooh, we should also... Hmm. Between this episode and next episode, there's going to be a lot of stuff done. Uh, we should also go back to the big mountain area. What is it called? Extreme Hills. And get the digital miner and tell it to mine some more emeralds because we were short a couple emeralds last episode so we need to definitely tell it to go mine some more emeralds if not all of them over there so i think what i'm going to do is end this episode by going off into the sunset and getting ourselves a billion more emeralds so let's just go get on skyrim horse real quick go to the mini map go to waypoints and let's enable that and disable the donkeys one because we already have the donkeys and uh oh did I ask you guys to leave a comment for the, the mule and donkey's names? I don't think I did. Leave a comment down below. What should our mule be called? Because I don't think I asked you guys. Leave a comment down below. He's like a brownish color. Maybe something to do with... Because he's, he's definitely in Brownie's family. Because, you know, Skyrim Horse... Uh, he, I think Skyrim Horse is like his Brownie's brother or something. I don't know. Do we have the digital miner? I think we just left without the digital miner, didn't we? Yep, we did. <laughs> That's like the key thing to why we're leaving, because we need to mine some emeralds. Come on. Oh, wait. Is this even charged? Uh, if it's not, then we can just bring the wind. Yeah, we just bring the wind turbines, no problem. Uh, redstone energy cell. Yeah, that's the one with like a million. Let's just get the hardened blah blah blahs and let's get some more of these. There you go. Nine of them. That should be good enough. That should be enough to extend way far away from the actual digital miner itself. All right. Well, I'm going to go to those extreme hills, which are so far away, they're not even showing up on the on the world right now. So I will see you guys here in a bit. And we are going to get ourselves an absolute ton of emeralds to finish our little Sistine Chapel ceiling painting thing we got going on over there for the Twin Emeralds Hotel. So I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, we are back. We are back here at the extreme hills area, and I think I mined up pretty much all the emeralds in the general area, except for maybe over here at this this extreme hill right here, so let's just Skyrim horse our way to the very top, jump those three blocks like it's nothing, Skyrim horse. There you go. A good job. And let's go to the very top of the mountain, and let's just uh, place down the windmill things, which are going to get an absolutely insane amount of power. Uh, even though I think they already are maxed out at like ground level anyways, but they're going to get a bunch of power and it's going to, yeah, look at this. This is such a great view. Like, look at this thing. This is like, if I started, if, if we started the whole, oh, whoa, we're dying. If we started the series like, and we spawned like right here, we would probably be having dinosaurs on mountains right now. No joke. It looks so good. And especially because of all the snow too. Even though I guess the mammoths would probably like the snow the best because, you know, Ice Age, you know, you guys really wanted me to have man and a mammoth from Ice Age in here, so. There you go. I think this hill right here was the farthest I went. What is that, a cemetery? Why is there a cemetery at the top of a mountain? It's probably the most epic thing I've seen in my life. All right, well, let's go down here to this general area. Let's go to the very top of that summit right there. Hello, pig. Whoa, whoa, what is this? Generating new chunks lag? I think so. Because we had a little bit of this generating new chunks lag when we were looking for a... Extreme Hills, like, 
five episodes ago, so let's go to the very top of the summit, which surprisingly has no snow, while every, pretty much every other part of this mountain has snow all over it. And uh, we just laid down a digital miner like right here next to the cemetery area. Flatten this area out a little bit. There we go. And we can put down the windmills like so. And wow, that's surprisingly... <laughs> that we just surprisingly had exactly enough windmills right there. And let's get the uh, the redstone, whatever, whatever it's called. There we go. And I think everything's good right now. Get out of the way, Skyrimors. Do not fall off either. Probably should have brought a lead for the little guy. <laughs> Alright, digital miner. There we go. Is that getting power? Oh, ho, 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 yeah, it is. Let's go, uh, let's go to config. Is that mining? No, that's uh, cobalt right there. Uh, let's give it some... We need some lapis as well. So, or lapis. Is that going to work? Oh, yep, yep, there we go. Because we need lapis for both, uh, because we're a little bit short on the Sistine Chapel thing. And because, uh, if you guys want me to use the blue stained glass for the Tire Swords expansion, we're definitely going to need some more lapis. So, let's just let this thing run real quick. And get ourselves an absolute ton of emeralds. Look at that, 353 emeralds and or lapis. Gonna let that thing run, and I guess... Whoa, how did... What? How did Skyrim Horse get in that tree? What? I really do not know how he got in that tree. <laughs> Alright, well, now I'm gonna let this thing run for a little while. And I'll see... Hey, look at that, we already have four lapis. Oh, it's mining wood, too. Ooh, whoops. I guess, uh, I'm not gonna worry about wood being missing from all the way over here. But I think I'm gonna let this thing run for a little while, and I'll see you guys here in a bit. Now, I should be way more than enough emeralds right there. We already have half a stack. All right, looks like we mined all the emeralds and all the lapis that is in this general area, so it looks like it's also full of energy, too, so I must have <laughs> must have been sitting here for a little bit longer than I should have. Anyways, let's just collect all of our... Actually, we could probably collect it. Yeah, we collect a lot faster. If we're not on Skyrim Wars. So let's just get all of our stuff. Let's just head back home. Go throw all the stuff into the enrichment chamber and all that good stuff. And uh, did I pick everything up? I feel like something might have fallen off the edge. I don't see anything falling off the edge. And it was just go back home and uh, work on that little Sistine Chapel looking thing. And hopefully it's going to turn out pretty good. And uh, we'll have a lot of lapis left over for possibly using it for the blue in the Tyrosaurus and Coelacanth expansion if you guys want me to do that, so I'm going to head home real quick, so I'll see you guys here in a bit. Are you kidding me? How is this guy out here again? How's he keep, like, escaping? Is he able to open up doors? I don't think he is, but he keeps escaping like it's nothing. <sighs> Anyways, let's just reverse escape back into our area, and let's just uh, put Skyrim Horse back. There we go. And let's go throw our stuff into their respective machines. Now, I think the emeralds can go inside the pulverizer, and the lapis can go inside the enrichment chamber. A uh, metallurgy infused, that's the wrong thing. There we go. I think the lapis can go in the enrichment chamber. So we can have both of them going at the same ho 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 three and almost a yeah, three and a quarter stacks of emerald ore. We're gonna get double that, so we're gonna get like six and a half stacks of actual emeralds here. Jeez. Uh, let's just make sure. Uh usages for this. Uh what are we gonna get? Uh redstone furnace pulverizer, yep. Looks like the pulverizer is our best bet for right now. So let's go throw it inside the pulverizer. And the enrichment chamber, that's for the lapis, right? Usage is... Uh, oh, 12 lapis each. Oh, I'm going to get a ton of lapis. There's already a ton of nether quartz inside there, but man, we're going to get a ton of emeralds right now. Anyways, I think I'm just going to sit here and wait for a little while. Actually, you know what? We need to put up our, our stuff here, and uh, by the time we're done... We should have enough emeralds and stuff to at least finish our roof, so let's put that all up in there and a bunch of emerald ore. We could probably put that down here for now, and I'll let them pulverize uh, between this episode and next episode. Just so I don't have to do it all on camera. And let's see, where is, uh, yeah, it should be enough lapis to get like, what, one or two blocks that we needed? And this should be enough emeralds for those two emerald blocks that we needed as well. So there you go, two emerald blocks. And what do we need, like two lapis blocks, I think? So there you go, I think that should be enough. Hmm, if not, uh, yeah, this should be enough guaranteed right here, so let's just go back. Uh, we can get our digital miner back. Let's go put that thing back in the chest, just so we don't lose it. And let's go back to our twin emerald hotel, and let's go finish that roof, shall we? It's gonna look pretty good. I hope it, I hope this is the only stuff we need. I hope we don't need any more of that lapis or diamonds or anything else, because I'm not going back to the house. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, we need something on the corners. I don't know what we're going to put on the corners, but for right now, yeah, it looks like we only need the lapis there. Yeah, it looks like we only need one thing, lapis, and then two emeralds right there. Okay, do we have any? Yep, we have some dirt. Actually, you know what? Uh, no, that's quicksand. Oh, we don't want to use a quicksand for this thing. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to reach it with just regular old dirt, right? Uh, there we go. There we go. And the lapis goes there, right? 
There. There, uh, there we go. Got it. I don't know what I'm going to put on the sides. Hmm. Maybe more iron? Maybe. Yeah, I think iron would be best. The only thing is, is that we used up all of our iron, and I took all the iron from that chest and put them into the, the, the ore blocks chest or whatever it's called. So I need to get some iron from up here. Get, just, let's just casually grab a whole stack of iron blocks, you know, just like it's nothing. It is nothing. A whole stack of iron blocks, that's nothing. It's nothing. All right, well, let's go back up here. Let's place iron on the sides of this, and let's see how good it will look. And there's that, there, there, and there. Sort of like there in the middle. So there's like three strips of diamond and then iron here. On the outside, the middle, and then the outside. So there you go, that's what it looks like. Let's go down here and let's get a better view. I like that. Is that, is that centered? Is that centered? I hope it is. Oh, ho, ho, it is. <laughs> okay, I was about to say right there, it better be centered. All right, that don't look too bad. Hmm, what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. I want to know what you guys think about this. I'm like, you can clearly see two emeralds right there. And uh, everything else is just decoration, but I don't think it's that bad. It's pretty good, if you ask me. Hmm. Anyways, I think I'm going to leave it off right there. So, uh, anyways, I think I asked you guys like three or four things. Uh, what do you guys want me to like use for the glass over there for the Tyrosaurus expansion? Do you want me to use the clear glass or the regular glass or the blue stained glass? And uh, leave some comments down below for our mule. And uh, if I asked anything else, then uh, leave some comments for that as well. But thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, God, I, I forgot I had this little fez on. Leave that little thing. Look at that, we have a fez. <laughs> thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. Ooh, let's go check up on Nanny Chicken. What's Nanny Chicken up to these days? What are you doing here, Nanny Chicken, with that little bread fish thing on your head? <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys all for watching. And me and Nanny Chicken will see you guys here next time. Oh, bye there.